Decisions flipping decisions. What do I get? Sausages and eggs with a little bit of onion or maybe some corn or some or oh, french fries or bread or a frozen coat. Hold on. Oh, I didn't notice you standing there behind me, watching me, judging me, fat shaming me. Just leave me alone, mum. I'm not fat. Anyway, just give me a break. I'm in Miami after all. It's America. Everyone's fat here. Or at least they should be. <laughs> I don't know why everyone looks like a supermodel. Oh, except this lady right here. She's uh, she's just like me. I'm hot and you're not. <laughs> what? <laughs> you crazy short-haired woman. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come and stand here in a group of beautiful people until I feel so bad about my weight that I'm forced to do something about it. One hour later. <laughs> Still waiting, don't care. Two hours later. Still don't okay. care. Three hours later. All right, I think I might actually care just a little bit. Or maybe I'm just looking for an opportunity to buff people in the face for no reason. Huh. I don't know why, but I always seem to have this effect on people. Excuse you. I need to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> They'll never... Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> They'll never find me in this outfit. I am looking good. Gosh, all that buffing people in the face really paid off. Look at that chiseled, cheeky jawline. Look at that chin. Look at those shoulders. Look at those bicep veins. Oh, I am looking a little bit portly around the midsection. <laughs> What have I been doing? All the weight just goes straight to my stomach. I don't know. I blame my mum for it. What's up, everybody? It wasn't me, obviously. I look nothing like that other chap. Can you, can you move? I'm trying to get a close-up. I look nothing like that other chap. You know, I am kind of curious, though, if I buff that guy out and then take this guy's clothes. Do I keep my cheekbones? <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's great. Can someone please kill me now? <sighs> well, after that crazy introduction, I'm just taking a couple of brief moments to enjoy this beautiful seaside view. After all, I am in Miami, Florida, which is why I wore the most flamboyant suit in my wardrobe. You feeling proud, bro? I know I am. <laughs> Give a guy a break and come quietly, won't you? Okay, fine, fine. You got me. I'll come quietly. I'll come as quietly. <laughs> I'll come as quietly as I possibly on, Ow! Boy. As I was saying, I'll come as quietly as I possibly can. Hey guys, why don't you come down here and catch me? <laughs> <laughs> I love the delayed boom. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. He <laughs> he's so high right now. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he's still going. Look at that. Look at that. I think he landed on the beach. <laughs> he landed on the beach. I see the bald man. Oh, that that's hurtful. All right. So, yeah, here we are in Miami, Florida, and uh, things are going to get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I can't even talk properly. Anyway, yeah, I'm in Miami, Florida, and hold on. I'm just going to eavesdrop on this conversation. Oh, replacement pressure valve. Fry everyone on stage. <laughs> pressure gets too high. <laughs> you guys are saying all the right words. So, yes, for like the fourth time now, let me try and finish what I was saying. I'm in Miami, Florida, and things are going to get kind of crazy. I mean, after all, I did bring some cheeky cheeky. <laughs> Did you just walk over and take some french fries? Oh, I want to try this. I never actually used this before. Hold on a second. Let me just... <laughs> How have I never done this before? So yes, I've got a couple of cheeky cheeky toys to help me get the job done. I've got my ICA-19 Full Auto Stealth Ducky Edition, a remote explosive rubber duck, a remote explosive rubber duck MK2, and after I've made my way down into the bowels of the car park and retrieved the sneaky gadget that Diana left for me, which if I'm not mistaken should be in this van right... Oh... No, wrong car, sorry. As I was saying, which if I'm not mistaken, should be an explosive golf ball. Let me just re- Oh, hold on a second. No, not an explosive golf ball. 100 explosive golf balls. And as well as my 100 explosive golf balls, I've got 100 remote explosive ducks and 100 remote explosive rubber duck MK2s, which at this point has probably given you a pretty good idea what this video is going to be about. Nope. It's not about punching ginormous flamingos in the face. It's actually about a bald man and all the ridiculous shenanigans he can get up to whilst dressed as a ginormous flamingo. Now I'll pick up this little parking ticket right here and uh, it's time to put my plan into motion. Now, interestingly, that parking ticket I just picked up apparently belongs to the gray van that I tried to get into earlier and couldn't get into. So I'm thinking that if I go up to the security window and I give them the parking ticket, maybe they'll give me the keys to the van. Okay, that, that doesn't seem to work. Well, um, <laughs> that probably would. Just gonna come over here and have a little bit of a fiddle with the fuse box. Oh no, the power went out. That is absolutely horrendous. Could you come and take a look at that fuse box, please? <laughs> you big, dumb, stupid, dumb, dumb face. All right, Crowbar, you're coming with me. And now let's go and jack ourselves into this van while these two idiots completely fail to notice. 
Oh, crap. Love your work, mate. You're doing great, great job for stuff. Incriminating evidence. All the plot thickens. Anyway, in the meantime, I think I'll troll Sierra Knox uh, next to the hotel with the incriminating evidence. Be the fl All right, I, I can do that. I can be the flamingo. I wonder what that flamingo dude is up to. <laughs> What? I'm right here, bro. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the hotel that I need to go to is on the other side of that walkway. Unfortunately, though, I feel like this dingleberry's probably not going to let me sneak through that door. So I'm, go I'm going to bust it open with a crowbar. I am a giant bird and I do what I want. All right, so this is it. The pink hotel where Sierra Knox is going to meet with the pink flamingo. And I'm going to use my assortment of rubber duckies, which are not pink, to launch her into outer space. Wait, hold on just a second she, she's she's laid down a a plastic tarp on the floor with a rolled up carpet and a shovel and various bleachy product oh no i think she might be planning to make flamingo sandwiches hey sierra sorry i was just up on the roof uh, checking out the open space suitable for a launch pad walk with me where are we going don't worry what am hey, i gonna how do you doing? kill you in broad daylight. Well, you know, I feel like that's a possibility. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. Okay, well, um, that's a great idea. But I was thinking that uh, I could also hand over a whole bunch of ducks. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. Oh, very One, bossy, isn't you she? will leave this place and this country for good. Uh-huh. And that will be the end of it. Okay. Everyone lives happily ever after. Okay. Two. Yeah. You don't choose option one. Oh. Someone dies right here, right now. Which do you prefer? Well, you know, now that you put it that way. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Sierra Knox <laughs> flying through the sky at a thousand kilometers an hour. I don't know where she went, bro. She just boom over the top of that building. She really surprised me and I'm a bird and I was like, Damn, girl, you got <laughs> you got the moves. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh goodness gracious me! Look at that. That is majestic. That is beautiful. That is going to be very, 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 very messy. Honestly, mate, I couldn't I couldn't tell you where he went. He was just like here one second, and then the next second he was like, boom! He was flying, and I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> where did he go? Um, did I just blast him through the wall? Hey man, these are for you. Guys, we could have demolition experts on our hands. Oh, demolition expert, you flatter me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this time around, I'm going to become a paramedic. You know, by sneaking into the back door, walking into this room right here, choking this dude out. While the guy in front of him drains the main vein. And I'll stuff old maid in here. I'll turn myself into a doctor. A doctor with the most chiseled... <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my goodness, I look like some German supervillain from World War II. Ever heard of interpersonal distance? Ever seen anyone with a face like this? So what's in this thing anyway, Doc? Uh, duck. Duck, yeah, duck. So we're just gonna hop a couple of them around here. And just sit, sit down. What are you doing? You've got a, an intravenous drip in your arm. You shouldn't be getting up, you maniac. Chad, think you drunk? <laughs> what? Oh goodness, that that looks unusually pleasant. <laughs> I would not be entirely against trying that myself. You know what? I I reckon I reckon I can get you out of there. Hold on, I'll just put down a couple more of these. All right, let's see if we can get you out of that partition. There you go. <laughs> Oh no, I broke the medicine cabinet. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I can't help but wonder what would happen if I launched a whole bunch of explosives into the middle of the racetrack and then detonated them while the race car was driving over the top. So what I'll do is crack out my Semtex demolition blocks and I'll just place a whole bunch of them down in the middle of the track. I don't know if they're in the right place or not, but uh, let's just... Are they even going on the track? Where, where are they? Look, it goes up there and then it goes... It disappears. All right, I'm just going to assume that this <laughs> that this is going in the correct place. And, uh, well, I guess we'll find out soon, won't we? All right, here she comes now. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... <laughs> I mean, it, <laughs> it works, but let's try this again. Three, two, one. Booyakasha! <laughs> well, 
you know. But don't despair. You see, now I've infiltrated the ranks of the opposing race team where I'm going to ensure that the yellow car crashes and the red one survives. Prepare for pit stop. Yes, I'm ready. Install remote explosive. Yes, remote explosive duck. Why not? Hey, what's up, Team Yellow? Let's go, let's go. Let's change these wheels. <laughs> Come on, boys. Aren't you jealous of my cheekbones? Well, wow, look at him go. He's really... Crushing it. All right, so now that Sierra Knox has won the race, I've got to head over to the podium so I can give her her... <laughs> No prize. But I'm gonna have to find a new outfit. You know, one that allows me to uh, step sir, on the podium and. Huh? Oh, area. this is a restricted area. Sorry, Show I didn't realize. Hands. I didn't realize this was a restricted You're area. Die, what? Whoa! <laughs> Talk about a bit of an overreaction. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. This will do nicely. Now, what I want to do is make my way up here to the podium before they get up here, you know, to put down the confetti. Yes, confetti. It's uh, it's duck-shaped this year. <laughs> Just place a couple of them down around here, you know. Just a few. We don't want to put too many, mostly because <laughs> it's going to crash the game. Then I'll leave and I'll zip my way over to the other side of the racetrack so I've got a nice, unobstructed view. All right, here she is, ready to accept her trophy. Victory is yours, Sierra. You're the best. <laughs> Um. <laughs> and for my final trick, I've infiltrated Con Cron <laughs> Cronstadt as a dude who can't afford the top part of his glasses frame. Also, I can sneak my way onto the roof of Cronstadt Laboratories, tweak the aerial antenna satellite dish thingamabob, which admittedly, I, I don't even remember... Uh, how how I meant to do that. Ah, oh, yes, I believe it's got something to do with this. The electronic access dongle. I will head into the server room. I will jump out the window because doors are for beta male p And I will stick my access dongle in this laptop. Then I'll control the satellite. I mean, I'll sabotage, yeah, I'll sabotage the satellite. Bleep, 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 bleep. Hacking, hacking. And, uh, oh no, I think I broke it. That's okay though, I believe that'll be all it takes to send Robert Knox over here to try and fix his satellite dish, at which time I will give him many, many ducks. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now you should probably just lean out over the edge and try to uh, change the fuse, you know? Dishes OS as well. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes, you're a genius. That's what you are. You ready to fly, big boy? Laters! <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. He went higher than that helicopter. Well... That's uh, <laughs> that's gotta be a record, bro. Going over the other side of that building. Oof, that was uh, well, that was Hitman Three. <laughs> Thanks for watching.